Hey everyone, welcome to React course. In this lecture, we will understand what is NPM and how to create your first React application. In the previous lecture, we had learned how to download Node.js in your local computer. Now, we will understand what is NPM and how to use it to create a React application. When you install Node.js, NPM is automatically installed in your system. NPM is a package manager for JavaScript and world largest software registry. It is used to discover packages of reusable code. NPM consists of three distinct components. The website, the command line interface, the CLI, and the registry. We are using the website to discover packages, set up profiles, and manage other aspects of your NPM experience. The CLI runs on the terminal and it is how the most developer interact with NPM. The registry is a large public database of JavaScript software and the meta information surrounding it. Now let's understand what is the use of NPM. Now the use of NPM is to adopt packages of code for your apps or incorporate packages as they are. You can also use NPM to download standalone tools which you can use right away. NPM is also used to run packages without downloading using npx. Using NPM, you can share code with any NPM user anywhere. Using NPM, you can restrict code to specific developers. You can use NPM to create organizations to coordinate package maintenance, coding and developers. NPM is also used to manage multiple versions of code and code dependencies. NPM used to update application easily when underlying code is updated. NPM used to discover multiple ways to solve the same puzzle. And the last, NPM used other developers who are working on similar problems and projects. Now, understand how most of the developer use NPM to install packages in their application. Using CLI component of NPM, you can install any packages from the repository. To install any packages in your application, you need to say a command npm install package name. But before you execute this command, make sure you have installed the latest version of npm in your system. To check that, you just need to type npm hyphen v and enter. So when you enter, the command will return the npm version on the console. And you will know that the npm is installed in your local computer and you have this version. After you get your version, you wanted to create React application using this command. You can also install package using npx command. npx is identical to the npm command. We will talk about the difference in npm and npx in the future tutorials, right? But just for now, to use npx in command, you just need to have a higher version of Node.js. NPX comes with the NPM 5.2 and a higher version. It is really beneficial to use NPX other than using NPM. You can just say NPX hyphen V. So this will return the version name, right? So you will get NPM version on the console. Now let's create a React application using NPM CLI. Before you move ahead, make sure you have an internet connection to install these packages from the npm repository. First, in order to create a React application, you need to install globally create a React app npm package. To do that, you just need to type npm install hyphen g create react app. Hyphen g is a global install flag. The hyphen g or you can say global argument will cause npm to install the package globally rather than locally and just specify package name so i will just say create react app here this will take some time to install this package globally setting up the tools to develop react application can be intimidating and time consuming there are a lot of moving parts for example setting up babel to transcompile jsx into browser ready code and linking react and react dome library to the document so let's understand what is create react app create react app is a tool built by developer at facebook 
that gives you a massive head start when building React apps. It saves you from time-consuming setup and configuration. We already have a CLI installed globally. Now let's create our first React application. To create your first React application, you just need to say a command npx. I have a higher version of npm 5.2, so I will just say npx space create React app space specify your name of your application. So I will just say my app here. This command will create your first React application. Create React app provide a modern build setup for your React app in no time. To get started, you will need to install create react app globally. Then you can create a new react project with a command create react app followed by the name of your project. So in my case, I am using my app project name. So I will just say npx create react app and specify my application name. So I will just say my app. So now when you have your ready react application, you need to execute this on the browser. To do that, you have a simple npm command. So to execute this application on the browser, you just need to type on the terminal npm start. npm start command start the development server and auto reload the page anytime you make edits on the document, right? So this will start the server and execute your React application. Starting the server automatically launches the app in the browser on localhost 3000 or you can say 3000. So this is your first default React app created using Node Package Manager. It is very simple to create a React application using NPM. It is only take a few minutes to set up React application, right? Now in the next lecture, we will talk about file structure of React application and understand what is the use of package.json file. That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to remember this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.